Hey everyone, welcome again to another interesting Tosca lesson. In this particular session, I am going to talk about modules and how you can merge two common or the same modules which are present in your workspace. Now, this is a pretty common scenario when you're working in a team uh, with different people working on the same project. So people tend to create uh, modules on their own, right, before checking whether that module exists or not. Now, there could be different reasons for that. Uh, the one reason is if you have not uh, followed the naming conventions or someone has not followed the naming conventions while creating a module, the person who is uh, trying to automate something, uh, he may not recognize uh, which module is the correct one because the naming is not proper. Or there could be multiple modules with the same name. Uh, so it is difficult to find out if uh, the best practices are not followed while working on a Tosca project. It might happen that there are multiple modules doing the same exact thing, right? And then it becomes very difficult to manage uh, if it is a large project and if you have modules having the same functionality or having the same names, um, it increases the workspace size and also it uh, becomes very difficult to manage because if there is any change in the module, you probably have to change 100 modules, right? So uh, it's always important that you have unique modules uh, for your functionalities or for your controls. And uh, if you find duplicate modules, then you should uh, basically maintain them. Uh, and the Tosca provides a functionality where you can merge uh, the same modules which have probably the same controls. Or even if there are different controls, um, it will tell you that you can either delete the controls or you can uh, keep the controls, right? So if there is any conflict, uh, Tosca can also help you resolve it. So it's always better uh, to maintain your modules in your workspace uh, so that it doesn't get out of hand. It will also affect your performance um, and maintenance uh, in the long run, okay? So for this purpose, uh, I have got this uh, source demo login page module. Okay, and uh, just to show you how it works, I'm going to uh, copy this and create some uh, duplicate modules here. Okay, and uh, then we are trying to uh, merge these modules so that uh, we can have just one module uh, instead of having different modules doing exactly the same thing, right? Now to merge the modules, uh, go to the modules tab and there you will find a merge modules option and also there is uh, an option to find duplicate modules. Okay, so first uh, the module for which you want to find duplicate modules, just select that module for us, it is the login page and click on find duplicate modules. Tosca will automatically search the workspace and it will find all the duplicate modules uh, which are present, okay? You can basically set uh, whichever module you want as the target and uh, the source module would be the one which you have selected. Okay, so this is our source module and then these are our target modules, but uh, but you can set uh, or you can select one of these as the target modules, okay? Now, uh, once you do that, once you select one of the target modules, uh, this merge selected option uh, will be enabled now, okay? And uh, we can basically go ahead and uh, merge, merge the selected modules with the source module. And it will perform some checks. Uh, it will check uh, whether the target module was not changed. Uh, no usages were linked to the target module. And then it is going to delete the source module. It is going to rename the target module with the source module. So it will basically sort out everything for you. You don't need to do anything. Okay, so if there are no controls which are basically a conflict, it will not show any conflicts as well, okay? So this is uh, how easy it is to just merge two different modules which probably have the same controls uh, and has been using for the same functionality. Just clean up your modules um, using this merge module functionality, right? So first you need to uh, search for the duplicate modules and then uh, you can just merge the source and the target module. What you can also do is you can select two modules like this, right? So I have got login page and login page underscore two. And once you do that, uh, it will, this merge modules uh, option will get enabled. 
okay so once you select the two modules and then you can click on merge module again so this time around uh, you can see there are different options here there is the merge option there is the switch modules option right and the, the show option so here uh, if you have got different controls okay so it will show you which controls you want to keep and which controls uh, you want to delete okay so for example uh, if i add or i remove one of the controls here okay so let's go to login page underscore two and let's remove this login button from here okay now uh, if i want to merge these two modules okay you can see here uh, it is showing this is the target module and this is the source module okay i can change it so i can switch the module so this becomes uh, the target and this is the source okay so what we can do is we can basically change or uh, we can remove or add any controls which you want to keep on our target module okay so our target module is the final module right so if you are using two modules uh, which we think are same we select those two uh, modules and then we look at the controls uh, which are present in those modules we can either remove those or we can just uh, keep them okay uh, in the target module so right now you can see uh, all the three controls are still present on my target module now if i switch you can see that uh, this uh, login button is not present in my target module but it is present in my source module so now if i go ahead and merge these two modules uh, the login button would be uh, removed right i can even unlink this password and the username uh, fields from here okay and then um, i can also again link them back right so you can link and unlink controls so you can basically decide which controls you want to keep and which you want to remove uh, from your final module okay and then uh, i go ahead and merge these two modules uh, it will show you that it has checked the change rights right and uh, the update one module attribute in target module uh, the following it will also uh, basically relink the usages so wherever you have used them in your test cases it is going to change them okay and it is going to delete the source module so that's what it is going to do right so as you can see now uh, we have got this one module uh, obviously the name has changed because we kept it as the target module but this was just an example of how you can do that okay so you can basically uh, merge two modules or you can use the find duplicate modules option to find the duplicate modules which have probably the same name or same controls and then you can just merge them um, as per your uh, requirement okay so both of the methods are fine uh, how you want to do it uh, completely depends on you but it is very important to clean up your modules uh, in your workspace especially if you are working on a large project so hope this was helpful uh, and uh, we'll be coming up with more interesting lessons uh, on Tosca. So keep looking and don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I post a new video on Tosca.